What's the real difference between these different types of TVs and monitors you see on sale all the time? You know, LCD, OLED, QLED. You might know some of the basics, but there's actually a lot more than meets the eye. In fact, some of the most important differences are in the smallest elements that make up the picture, the little red, blue, and green subpixels. And knowing about how these subpixels differ between display types can help you make a smarter buying decision. To start, you need to know why most displays use those three specific colors, red, green, and blue. They're the primary colors of light, and by combining them, you can make just about any color you'd like. But exactly how pure those colors are that makes a big difference in how rich and accurate the picture will end up looking. In fact, one big advantage current displays have over those old style CRTs is that CRTs usually had a hard time accurately hitting up the RGB phosphor dots that coated the inside of the screen's glass. These dots created colored lights when the display shot a beam of electrons at them, making them a forerunner of what we now think of as subpixels. By contrast, modern subpixels are placed in fixed positions in different patterns that can help with perceived visual quality or the display's lifespan. And these fixed positions also make them more color accurate than CRTs. But standard LCDs still struggle with color purity, at least to some extent. This is because they work by shining a white LED backlight through a color filter that makes the subpixels red, green, or blue. But that white backlight is what's often called broad spectrum, meaning it's composed of many colors other than those three primaries. This, plus the imperfect color filtering, means that LCDs aren't exactly perfect at reproducing colors accurately. And even many more expensive OLED displays, even with their deeper blacks and superior contrast, have a similar issue since they rely on individual white OLEDs with color filters on top of them. Although it's possible to have pure red, green, and blue OLED subpixels, the problem is that the blue subpixels have historically tended to degrade faster because blue has a shorter wavelength and thus higher energy required than red or green. However, you do commonly see actual RGB OLED displays on phones, which we tend to replace before we notice the blue subpixels degrading. That being said, we aren't saying you'll have a bad experience with these display types, especially as material improvements over the years have led to better color quality. But if you want a display with very color accurate subpixels, something with quantum dots might be your answer. We'll tell you why right after we thank Delete Me. Online privacy isn't just personal. It's a family matter. Because of that, Delete Me is now offering seamless protection for your entire family with their family plans. With individual data sheets tailored to each member, their privacy first design ensures personalized removal of personal information from online databases. From kids to adults, everyone stays safe from unwanted exposure and scams. Simplified management means peace of mind for all. So check out Delete Me at the link in the description and safeguard your family's digital world today. A quantum dot works by emitting a pure single color light when another light source hits it. But there are two main types of quantum dot displays on the market right now. The first is the standard QLED, which typically works with a backlight of pure blue LEDs along with red and green quantum dots. These three colors combine to make white, which then goes through a color filter. But this white is composed of purer red, green, and blue than you'd get on a conventional LCD, resulting in deeper, more saturated colors. The other, pricier kind of quantum dot display is the QD OLED, which, as you can likely guess, combines the superior contrast and black levels of an OLED with the color reproduction of a QLED. These displays also use a blue emitter layer along with red and green quantum dots, which take the place of a conventional color filter, meaning higher brightness and richer colors than a conventional OLED. And you also don't have to worry about the blue wearing down faster because the whole emitter layer is blue. They also have more accurate colors on fast moving objects than LCD based displays because quantum dots have very fast response times. Something to consider if you watch sports, or play lots of video games. That's a lot of different ways to combine red, green, and blue, but hopefully this will help you decipher that alphabet soup of different TV types a little better on your next trip to Best Buy. But if you'd like to know why some displays ship with subpixels that are straight up dead right out of the box, watch this video next.